And tonight we have eight on your side team coverage of this urgent Amber Alert. Peter Bernard and Victoria Price are both live in Pasco County tonight. Victoria, we'll start with you. Keith, still a lot of law enforcement out here where they found that van earlier today. It's unclear if the baby's father has any connection to this area. That is something that deputies are looking into. But of course, right now the priority is finding baby Andrew. All we care about right now is that we get that baby back. Tonight, the search is on statewide to find seven day old Andrew Caballero. This after his father, 49 year old Ernesto Caballero, was found dead near an abandoned van in rural Pasco County. Seems like he made a couple of quick turns off of 75. Maybe he wanted to find the first wooded area he can get to. Both were the subject of an early morning Amber Alert after they went missing from their Miami home. Police suspect Caballero gunned down three women at that home Tuesday. Our best hope right now and what we're praying for is that he handed the baby off to somebody. A suspicious vehicle call around noon led Pasco deputies to this van on Jessamine Road, seen from Drone 8 about three miles off I-75. They found the father's body in some nearby woods with what appeared to be a self-inflicted gunshot wound, but no signs of baby Andrew or a car seat, just a pacifier. Authorities now trying to verify a claim that a blonde woman was seen in that van. And I sit here and pray to God that that is true and that she has the baby. And if that woman is out there, if there's anybody, if that is a true fact, and that woman is out there, please come forward. And the Pasco Sheriff says it's possible that van had been out here since as early as, as between 3 and 5 o'clock yesterday afternoon. And that is why investigators are asking if anybody has seen this van out driving to please, please contact local law enforcement so they can hopefully try to piece together a timeline here. And hopefully that timeline leads to maybe Andrew. Keith. Victoria Price live in Pasco County. Thank you.